Even though I was born and raised on an island that's called the land of wood and water, I couldn't swim until a couple months ago. I was always scared of water after having had at least three instances where I almost drowned and had to be rescued by a lifeguard. While growing up, I would often go to the rivers and beaches with my friends and my family, but I was always staying in the shallow areas. With a life jacket, I was always confident and ready to do whatever water adventures in just about every country I'd visit. Whether it was a lake, river, waterfall, beach, or miles from shore, I was ready to snorkel, plunge, sail, paddle, kayak, just about everything as long as I had a life jacket that I could put on. I've always wanted to learn how to swim, but I kept putting it off. This year, I couldn't put it off anymore because I had a big goal that I wanted to accomplish. I decided to find a swimming course to finally learn how to swim. I wanted to overcome my fear of water, drowning, and to learn the right swimming techniques. I listened carefully at each session and I tried to learn as much as I could from my teacher. It was really frustrating sometimes though, because I wasn't progressing as fast as I wanted to. There were points I didn't even want to continue, I just wanted to give up. Eventually waking up at 5.30am to go to the swimming pool to practice what I was taught started paying off. Stroke by stroke I made progress, I got better, I got faster, more confident and less fearful. It's coming, it's coming. Let's do this! <laughs> While in the south of Germany last weekend, I wanted to finally experience swimming in a German lake. This country has so many beautiful lakes and I was always curious to plunge right in, especially in these unbearable summer temperatures. So I've been living in Germany for like what, five years now? And I've actually never like went swimming in like one of these lakes before. Interested to see how this is gonna go. This is Bodensee in South Germany. I'm gonna put this thing here and go in. Plan aborted. This water is not the best thing for swimming. It's like a lot of algae. This shouldn't be my first time. It should be more special than this. That was definitely the wrong part of the lake to go swimming, but I was still positive I could get that experience. The next destination was the country with some of the most beautiful lakes in the entire world, I would even say. Swimming in the clear, blue and refreshing waters after hiking 30 kilometers with Daniel to celebrate his 30th birthday was a big accomplishment. Oh, swimming in the lake didn't work in Germany. But I'm in Switzerland at this beautiful lake, big massive lake. It's raining! It's raining! Let's go! Ooh. I think directly. <laughs> Ow, which are you jumping from? Here? Yeah. This water is already up to my neck. <laughs> I was afraid at some point, but deep down, I was proud of myself. I stepped out of my comfort zone. I learned a new and a very essential skill and I was able to enjoy the benefits. I could swim. I could open my eyes in the water. I was having fun. Fear was non-existent.
How did that happen? Next time, I'll definitely take a job. But for now, I'll just keep improving because there's a bigger goal that I want to accomplish before my 30th birthday in October. I'm going to the water.